we talk about global risk sometimes. Um, Brexit is on everyone's mind. Uh, risk on as opposed to risk off globally currently. And there's a sense of 2019 being a year of, of negative sort of sentiment. Let's not get too caught up in that. Why? The global financial crisis in 2008-9 was not global. It didn't really affect our lives. Our growth rate remained very strong as Africa. It didn't affect Asia. I was in Beijing in 2009 having a meeting of China Development Bank, one of the vice governors. And he stamped his fist on the table. He said, look out the window. And you see cranes, buildings, traffic, consumers. He said, does that look like, look like a crisis to you? It's not a global financial crisis. It's a Western crisis. And I think the global financial crisis was not very global. Let's not forget that. More importantly for us, and very good news, has been announced, if you haven't seen it, China's stimulus in the last couple of months. Significant stimulus, which is very good for emerging markets, particularly those who are commodity exporters, because the Chinese build stuff. Highly intensive, resource-intensive growth model. China, China has been rebalancing in recent years, of course, i.e. more consumer-driven, but this recent stimulus to shore up growth is very positive news for commodity exporting countries. The US I mentioned in terms of how the US will potentially be re-engaging, I think how we as the continent are smart in strategically engaging the Chinese and the Americans for uh, what is in our own developmental interests should come to the fore.